Hey, Kevin Green here with Garage Boxing, and I'm here with an outstanding uh, local prospect. His name is Robert Vargas. He's 4-0-1, and he's fighting on December 17th at the Battle of the Ballroom um, here at the Irvine Marriott. Um, Robert, you're from Santa Ana, right? Santa Ana. Yeah, you're training here at this is OC Boxing. How long have you been here? Uh, I've been here uh, a month. Yeah. Actually, yeah, we just train over here. I'm just with uh, Boxing uh -huh. uh, and Grant, 17. Uh, get the program done. And, and, and it has all the basics, all the things you need to read. Coach Hugo Vargas, so, so you've got a fight in less than a week, and it, it's it's a rematch of the fight before. It was a unanimous decision, close fight. You know, people want to see you. Are you all your fights have been? You have four, you have four or five fights now. Five. Five, right? Are you looking for the knockout on this one? Are you, you know, it's like I'm trying to get the knockout. It's been pretty hard. more of like a, a, a boxer or more of like a brawler or like you know, what do you do more technique more speed well, actually, I'm like both because my first two fights I've been brawling it I'm trying to get my knockout and everything but as it happened the last fight with UK uh, I was boxing him working my dad for a while I took that fight with my dad you know? so I'm uh, mostly bold and yeah. uh, distant and brawling and you fought, and that was, this is going to be your fifth fight of 2009. That's, that's a pretty good way to stay active. Are you looking to be more active four or five fights in 2010? Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're looking for? Well, whatever my manager decides, uh, I'm trying to go up to six rounds now. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to make six fights, eight, eight the most next year, but it looks like it's going Yeah. And is there, is there a kind of fighter that you, you whose style you, you know, you kind of, use or you model yourself after, whether it's an old school fighter or like a newer fighter, a uh, current fighter. I used to see a Fernando Vargas, the style. I like his movements and everything. He kind of said I got the exact style, but right. I, try to, I try to do some of the cool side movements. Another question, you know, you're Robert Vargas. What about the what about the uh, the nickname? You got a nickname? The, the, king. King. the king. The king. The king. All right, the king. So Robert the King Vargas here. Yeah. All right, so and how did how did that come about? Uh, how does, well, how does first, somebody get a nickname? <laughs> my first two fights, I didn't have no nickname. So me and my brother actually we were sitting down and trying to figure out a nickname, and I got a, a tattoo that uh -huh. said the king. Uh -huh. So he's like, yeah, how about you just put the king in? I said Robert the King Vargas, and I like it, so I just called my manager and had him on. It's the king, man. Yeah, the king. So maybe we can start coming out and <laughs> things get better with the with the crown on. So so now you started your career with uh, the early uh, 2008, and you started at I think 134. Yeah, right, right, right. So now you're fighting in like 126, 126. So what what made, what caused that change? Mostly came and said to him, and at this point with him, and he 
said he liked me, so he wanted to check me out. So at the time, I wasn't really ready to jump into the pros, mm -hmm. but it was a one opportunity to, to you know, because if, if they liked me, they were going to get me on the board. Right, right, right. So, so I just said, I jumped in, and I told my dad, so yeah, we decided to go and go. And it was a bad thing, and I guess I got the draw. Right. Well, people have draws, you know, I mean, it's, it's part of it, but, you know, uh, you know, again, you're an exciting guy, you're local, you know, we, we asked the, the guys in the battle in the ballroom, you know, who are you guys most excited about, and this guy was at the top of the list, so, again, uh, Robert the King Vargas, he's a uh, he's local guy 4 on one and he's fighting in the ballroom, and uh, he fought in the ballroom a couple of times, you know guys like Sugar Shane Lowe, he fought there, and I think Vargas as well, but you know, obviously earlier in the career. Is that exciting for you? You know, hey, like, you know, you get your friends and your family there, and they can see a fight. It's exciting, you know, having all my family there, and friends, cheering me on, and it gets me pumped in the ring, and this is what I gotta do, so right, right, I can right. see what, what I'm going up in the ring for. Right, 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 right. Well, so, yeah. you, so good, so you got, uh, you got a prediction, you're looking for the Canuck out, but you know, obviously you're looking for the W no matter what, right? Well, look, we appreciate you, we appreciate you, you know, getting a local boxing guy, and uh, we hope to see more of you in the future. Good luck, man.